Welcome back to the Pokemon Black Randomizer Chess Lock. What's the good word, friends, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Black Randomizer Chess Lock. I'm your host, Make It Totter, and in today's episode, we're going to finish up our little side quest going through Route 17 and Route 18. I'm pretty sure we can access Route 18, so we can get another encounter. That's pretty much the reason that we deviated from the main story, so we could uh, add to the chessboard a little bit more, and... Uh, there are some disappointments along the way, but we did come across another pawn, as you can see at the bottom of the screen. We have added Sentinel the Skaroopy, and we also, well, if you want to see everything else that we encounter, go ahead and check out the last episode, which was on Wednesday. Uh, there are some unfortunate encounters, a really amazing encounter that I had to make a really hard decision on, but uh, go ahead and see all that stuff back on Wednesday. Today, we're going to get through the rest of 17 and 18, as I had mentioned, get back to Twist Mountain, get on with our journey. But the very first thing that we're gonna do, and I've actually already prepped for this so I didn't have to backtrack and come all the way back, is we're standing in front of the house where we're gonna get an egg today. As you can see, I'm not gonna go through a team recap today because everything is literally the same. <laughs> Except uh, you can see that I took Grover the Cobalion out just for the sake of getting this egg and hatching it. And I did throw on an action replay code just so we can make the steps go by that much faster so we can get to the egg that much faster, or at least the egg hatch. So. Let's actually start out by doing that right now. I will take that egg off your hand, sir. Save this Pokemon egg. Yes! Let me get that egg! And I am incredibly excited. I hope it's going to be something magnificent. It just thinks that it's not going to be up to level with everything else, but that's just how it is. I'm not going to complain. It's a new Pokemon. So hopefully it's something we can hold on to. I wonder how long it's going to take with this code in place. Hopefully not very long. Not long at all. It's ready to go! All right, what do we got, baby? What do we got? What do we got? Do, 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 ba, 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 da, ba, ba. Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, a Milotic. Oh, do I keep this? I already have a water type. I have to be- this would have made an incredible rug. The problem is, I have Dugong. I have a bulky water type already, and I would consider my Lodic obviously to be better. I love my Lodic even more, it's one of my favorite water types. I just do not have room for this thing. My Lodic, why couldn't you have like a- an evolution before, or like after, or something, so I could actually use you as a pawn? I, I knew this, I knew the chess lock would do this to me. I knew this would eventually happen, where I was gonna start filling up the board, and I was gonna have to start letting things go because I don't have any room anymore. <sighs> My Lodic, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't use you. I simply can't. But you know what? You're gonna have to hang out on the team for now, which good for you. You can hang out with the boys. You can hang out while we beat up other trainers Pokemon, like this one, for example. Get on to Route 18, and hopefully get something we can actually use. Came all the way here looking for various Pokemon. Let me see what kinds of Pokemon you came here with. The kind that are gonna kick your butt, lady! Backpacker, no, Cyclist of Maryland. Oh, come on! Having flashbacks, I was, like I'm playing Sword and Shield's uh, Crown Tundra right now and I'm going through and catching all the Regis and this one gave me nightmares. It would not stay in the Ultra Ball. It just would not do it. And now we have to fight one for real, and I don't like it. What I really want to do is Reg Ice is going to have Zap Cannon perhaps at this stage. It shouldn't have Explosion now. It gets that at level one, I'm pretty sure. So it had to have been erased by that point, right? I would hope. Um, I kind of want to Fire Spin it and just get a bunch of residual damage and then switch into something else. See if I can make this go a lot faster. Steel is weak to Ice, I'm pretty sure, so I can go into Dialga. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Chip away at it. Give it a little chip away damage as I switch out into Dialga. Make it a little quicker. It's gonna curse, that's fine. Curse all you want. Actually, don't curse all you want. Like, just keep it at that. Let's get into this Dialga right now. Well, it takes fire spin damage. And uh, hopefully, hopefully its defense isn't so high now that we can't just Throw a big old metal claw right in its right in its dotty little face. It's gonna curse again. <laughs> We've been through this once before. What are you, Grodel, like best friends or something? I, that's a weird combination, but okay. With this cursing business, 
Uh, its special defense is like 200,000 million, so we're not gonna Aura Sphere it. Let's just Metal Claw. That looks to be our best bet as far as damage output. Yeah, those... <laughs> oh, that curse. That curse with the, with the defense increase is uh, not making my day. But you know what? Let's test out Aura Sphere, because with a plus two defense, it probably matches up with its, uh, or might even be more than a special defense now. Let's see if this does more at this juncture, perhaps. Oh, and you know what? I just realized, now that I switched out, apparently... It's gone. Okay. I guess I should have done that to begin with. And I didn't realize that the fire, the fire spin actually goes away when you switch out by the Pokemon who did it. I don't know why I, would, why I would know that to begin with, because who uses Fire Spin any, anyway, except me, apparently. But either way, the Red Ice is gone. We can continue. Let's see what's going on down here. Looks like it's all still Route 17 shenanigans. Any items, perhaps? No, no items down here. Hidden items. It lo that area just like it looked like it was screaming item down there, so I was like, okay. But apparently not. Let's make sure we got a Repel up. I want to go get that item that was just looking at us. All right, perfect. Let's get on going. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to run into whatever that is. I saw the shaking grass and I was like, we're gonna have to go. It's a little shuckle. Little shuck boy. But you know, we ain't gonna mess with that. We ain't about to mess with the shuckle. Let's get this item instead. Oh, it's an HM, it's HM5 Waterfall. Is that even necessary for advancing in the story. I have no idea because it's kind of off in a in a side spot really waterfall so it's like people would easily miss it so I'm gonna assume I'm gonna assume that uh, it's not needed but we have it anyway so that's neat. Uh, no secret items here I guess I could just get out my item searcher and do it that way but I'm too lazy. Uh, there's another battle coming up right here. Let's keep getting them levels. Poor Cabalion could really be using these levels, but I ain't about to backtrack and do that. He can get his levels later. It's fine. Puchian is coming in. Yet another Pokemon. That should have a final stage. Mightyena is not a final stage. I will never admit that. I think a lot of people would agree, honestly. <laughs> uh, but let's not let's not be dumb and keep Stella in here. We don't need to take any unnecessary damage. We'll bring out Lila. She can take just about whatever this little, little Poochie wants to do. I never really noticed the eyes. The eyes on a Poochiana. Is red with the like, like, That thing's got some serious jaundice going on. Uh, you should, should bring it to a vet and get it checked out. Can't be good. But either way, aside from that, its eyes are actually really scary. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Stop with this swagger bullcrap! All of you do it! Every single Pokemon in this game has swagger except mine, I swear. Lila, please. Thank you. Thank you. This is gonna be a super headbutt. Thanks for the attack increase. You dummy! You dumb pooch! I can't believe I just called the dog dumb. That actually didn't feel right. I apologize for that. Gloom's coming in. Um... It's a poison type, so we'll go into Stella. We'll go into Stella and throw off a big ol' extra sensory. I had to drag that syllable out because I couldn't think of the move. Couldn't think of it. But either way, this thing's going down in one shot. It's gonna be drooling even more because it's just, its brain is going to just melt out of its ear holes. Out of its gloomy ear holes. No, it's not dead yet. Not yet. Shield the positive team for critical. Okay. I say, we've had Lucky Champ before and I completely forgot what it did. When it started started doing this, uh, this chant business, I was like, what is happening? Oh, it's dying. That's what ha that's what's happening. So we're fine. Anorith's coming in. Just a tiny little bug. Let's go, that's gonna be Bug Rock. So let's bring out Botan. We can throw off a couple of Aqua Jets and beat this thing to a pulp. It's already flat, can't flatten it anymore, but we can sure beat it up some more. I would say between Anorith and Lily in Gen 3, I think I was more primitive to Anorith. Well, because Armaldo was so cool. I mean, I didn't, oh, this might hurt a little bit. Is Ice weak to Rock? It absolutely is, but that's fine, because Aqua Jet's gonna take it out. Uh, the next one will. <laughs> it's it's delaying the inevitable. You should have protected yourself before your entire species turned into fossils, Anorith! Mr. Two protects in a row. Do it again, I dare you. I dare you. That's the so I thought. Turn you back into a fossil. So somebody else can discover you, re-revitalize you, and complete the cycle. 
All right, on to the next. Hopefully get some items out here, at least get to Route 18 or something. Can't spend all day out here. Crossing the bridge. Maybe it come. No, it feels like we're just running around in circles now. It really does. Uh, are we coming out now, or what? What's the, what's the deal? What's going on here? Why does it feel like we haven't actually gone into Route 18? Or is that up north? Wait a minute. This was Route 18 the whole time. No. You guys, I'm I'm an idiot. I've already done my Route 18 encounter, it was that shuckle. Ah! I guess at least... You know what? I guess at least it was something I was not willing to catch anyway. Well, that took away from the excitement now, didn't it? Oh, you guys are probably just screaming. Screaming at me right now. Oh, I'm such a dummy. Such a dumb dumb. Gotta live with it now. Have to. This would have been... No, this would have been Route 17. Yeah, see, there's the Arbok that I encountered last episode. Wow! Wow! I I don't even know what to say at this point. I don't. I must have missed the flip. Or maybe I encountered something in Route 18 anyway. When, in last, I don't even know. I, I can't believe that I missed the route shift. I can't believe it. But in any case, let's throw up a repel one more time and see if there's anything to uh, be discovered on these rapids. Maybe not. I think we're just gonna go back, aren't we? Probably. Okay, how about this way? Now we're just gonna go in circles. We're- nope, we're gonna get kicked out, probably? I think so. And we are officially kicked out. Alright, let's just go back to Twist Mountain. <laughs> I still can't believe I did that. I cannot believe it. Okay, so Twist Mountain, back over this way. Over by Miss Stralton. Might as well heal and get our Cobalion back out, since uh, my Lodic is unusable, since I'm not keeping it. Which is very, very sad. <laughs> What's also sad is, uh, is uh, my brain. My brain is very sad. Alright. Let's get Grover back out here. But first, we have to do the unfortunate. Well first, let's get, let's get Grover in the party. Let's do that first. We will give my Lodic a proper send-off. Milotic, I'm sorry. This this hurts me quite a bit, I'm not gonna lie. But off you go. Happy trails. Back to the water with back to the water you go. And now we can actually get back on track with the actual journey. Did I right now? I probably didn't register the bike. Ah, we don't need it. Let's just run. We need the exercise anyway. I mean cycling cycling wow. My computer is just like, nah bro. Not today! Not today! See, even my, compu my computer doesn't want to deal with me. And we should be just right up here. Nah, that's Celestial Tower. Did I pass it? I most certainly did. So I think it must be to the right. Okay, I think we're on track now. Took me a little bit, but we are back, baby. We are back. Um, am I gonna need to- No, I'm not gonna need to throw up this repel. We're fine. We're fine. But let's not fall off the edge. Let's not do that, because I have no repel. Okay, we're good. We made it. We are back! And I think Sharon is waiting for us with somebody. I think Alder, perhaps? Perhaps Alder? Let's actually throw up the repel, though, because we have no Pokemon we want to encounter here. And let's go- actually, let's get- let's get Grover out. Because if we're gonna do some battles in here, we gotta get Grover up- No, Grover's got the EXP share. We don't have to do that. Okay, Botan, you go back out front. Alright, what's going on up here? Oh, it's Clay, not Alder. Okay. Oh, Totter! What a, what a surprise, seeing you here while I was inspecting Twist Mountain. The two of you seem a bit more rugged than the last time I saw you. A little bit, anyway. Is that so? By the by, you folks seen that Team Plasma crowd lately? After all the trouble, we gym leaders met up and had a chat. But we got no clue where they are. It's like they're hiding under a rock. Well, not much to do but wait for him to move. Anyhow, that's none of your concern. You just told us it was because we let him cross over in the bridge. Like, which one is it, dude? Squirts like the two you should just enjoy traveling with your Pokemon. Twist Mountain's a fine place to explore. You'll have some fun if you just leave this here path. Well, better you just see it yourself. 
instead of listening to me yammer. Be seeing you, Sprouts. Feel free to train yourselves on my mountain for as long as you like. Alright, man. We're gonna do just that. I thought he was going to get us involved in all that bother again, so I was bracing myself before I knew it. Yeah, see? I'm going in first, but I'll be seeing you. Alright, man. I will be following right after you. And that's it! <laughs> Twist Mountain's done! Just kidding. Alright, anything up here? Or we just kind of run our- nope, there's an item all the way up here. And it's a water stone. I swear we have like every single uh, stone evolution that we could possibly have at this point. On to our journey back this way. He's gonna want to fight, right? No. Appearance of Twist Mountain changes. See that? Feel a sense of relief. Absolutely. On we go! See, I thought- okay, get another item. Perfect. Full restore. Practical! Could certainly use it. That's another thing I didn't do last episode or even this episode for that matter is get healing items I certainly could use them but Let's see if we can get through Twist Mountain regardless. Here's our first battle in Twist Mountain When I'm surrounded by rocks my spear goes up <laughs> All right, let's see how you are after this battle, dude Maybe not after performer Joe <sighs> We are facing some bulky boys today I don't know if our Articuno is so much bulky as it is just, you know, it's, it's still a legendary. It's still got stats, still got something to be worried about. What if we put this old boy to sleep? What if? I say we should totally do that and then switch out into something that can hurt it. Well, let's do it. We're gonna get ice sharded, we're gonna eat that all day long and then some breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Get them nutrients. And we're gonna miss. That's an 80% hit. That's an 80% hit, Botan. You seem to have this issue that you miss at the worst times. Mr. Icy Wind. There it is. There it is. Go to sleep, Articuno. Take a nap. God, that feels like it takes forever. He goes down a long way. Should just stay asleep forever after that. Okay, so Articuno's asleep. Let's go into Lila. Lila can take this thing with a couple of headbutts and soak up that beautiful EXP. Perhaps two headbutts to get it done? Don't wake up. Don't you do it. Ah, yes, that's right. Enjoy your nap. Just let the tiredness shower over your eyes. Don't worry about this headbutt. It's gonna be very gentle. You won't even wake up. You won't even feel it. Aw, oh, two? I need two? Come on, Lila. Put on like a spiky helmet or something. Get that extra damage. Oh, I woke up. Okay, Ice Shard, it's Intimidate. It's Intimidate though. You're not gonna hurt me that bad. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. One more down goes the Articuno. Do we have any more after this? Probably the only one, right? Up to 35 for Botan, good stuff. Grover, 29, good stuff! Give me them levels! And Oshawott's gonna come in. Cute little Oshawott, that's adorable. Um, could a Grover take an Oshawott? I think so. I think we can get Grover's first 1v1 battle in today. It's a good thing. Yes, my Cobalion. All right, in comes the Oshawa. Let's go for... Metal Claw's not gonna hurt it. Perhaps we just double kick this thing until it goes down. We'll take an Aqua Jet, that's no big deal. It's just a tiny little otter. Tiny little otter's not gonna hurt. But this might pinch a little bit. Wow, with the crit! With a big old crit, we're gonna get a two shot off this double kick. Before that, we're gonna get Aqua Jet. It's gonna get as much damage off as it can. Gotta respect the grind. Gotta respect the effort. And we got a Houndor. A Houndor coming in is gonna be a dark type. We can stay in on a Houndor. I mean, you can hit me with an Ember probably, but I bet you're going down in one hit. It's a legendary you're talking about, come on. That's right, that is right. I still don't enjoy taking down these poor little pups, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do in this game. All right, what do we got next? Maybe find some more items perhaps, anything up here? I uh, go a couple of different directions, huh? But first, because we're dealing with this encounter business, let's go right. We'll go right. We'll battle this girl. I'm assuming if there's a trainer there, then this is probably the direction they want us to go. That's my guess. Maybe we'll just stick with that since we spent a lot of time over in what I thought was still Route 17 and apparently was not. 
Maybe we'll just keep on going. We can always go back for items at a later time. But it comes uh, Dugong to take out the Spinda. Can't Sheer Cold. I always think about wanting to use Sheer Cold. I just, I don't know. The fact that I'm using Oko moves right now is just, I don't know, it takes me back to when I was 11 and I thought they were the greatest thing ever. By the way, this Spinda ate a, I know Aqua Jet is 40 base, but man, it took it like a champion. So maybe we switch out into, uh, let's give Lucy that, that uh, appearance that it always gets every single episode. We're not about to deal with this Spinda, who's probably going to confuse us in some way. I can just see it coming. I can just see it coming. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. I called it! I called it! But, okay, thank goodness. I got the, uh, whatever berry. Person berry, I think it was. Okay, go down to this hour sphere. How dare you even confuse me? How dare you? Do you know who you are fighting, Spinda? Do you know? I don't think you do. And now you don't know anything because you're dead. All right, let's just keep on going. Oh, before we do that, I think you got another person berry in the bag, right? Perhaps, mayhaps. I sure do. We're gonna give that old boy to, uh, yeah, we'll give it to Lucy. She's the only one not holding an item. Yuzo could sure use an item too. Let's go. I'll give it the Lumberry. I don't plan on using Yuzo very much, if at all, today. It's at level 39 anyways, but that berry could come in use anyway, so. Let's keep on going. Um, I'm assuming, yeah, like I said, there's probably an item in that other spot, so. But here's our next battle. Swimmer Joe. This is like the 20th Swimmer Joe we faced. Got a tiny little whims Wismer. Let's call it a Windsor. That would have been wrong. Learn how to read, Totter! Uh, let's get out of here. I should actually use a Chesto Berry on, uh, on, on Dugong here. Maybe I'll do that. Do I have one? Yeah, I have two. Okay, perfect. Because this thing's not going to put us back to sleep. Let's just get Dugong up and going again. And let's get confused. Let's get confused! Still couldn't avoid it. Alright, uh, instead of dealing with that, we'll just switch out. We will switch out into Lila. Lila can headbutt this thing to Timbuktu. Probably one-shot it, I would imagine. It's just a tiny little... Whatever that thing is, I don't even know. I don't even know what it is. It's like a, like a cross between like a, a rabbit and a... Some hairless animal I can't think the name of. But yeah, definitely... Definitely resembles a rabbit of some sort. That's all I can think of. There goes the there goes the one shot headbutt, just like we wanted. Up to level 30 with Grover. Good stuff. We got a Golduck coming in. Okay. Golduck is still water type. I don't know why it's not water psychic. It definitely should be. Um are we going to Botan? No, we don't have Thundershock on Botan anymore, do we? Maybe we do? No, I took it out for Dark Void, so nobody has an electric move right now. Or a grass move, for that matter. So maybe we... We'll stay in on Lila. We'll just keep going. Lila's revved up. She's got the headbutts going. She does not want to stop. First, we're going to get Fury Swipe. That's fine. We can handle that. You can Fury Swipe us 50 more times. We'd still be standing. We're going to get a two-shot headbutt. And the quick claw pop. After getting all those quick claw pops from before, it feels like I haven't had one in ages. Maybe it's just because I'm used to it, probably. All right, so on to the next. Perhaps get through Twist Mountain before you end the episode? Are we fast enough to do that? Maybe? Uh, is that gonna be a Pokemon? No, these are just gonna be, there's gotta be, idea. okay. Oh, another quick claw, that's a good thing. That's a glorious thing. That's why those dust clouds are there. I knew something was gonna happen, I knew it! Can't fool me, Game Freak. Swim Pansy coming in with a ditto. That's a shame. Botan's gonna come in. Do I really want it to turn into a dugong? Probably not. I would rather it didn't. Let's let it turn into uh no, you know what? Let's let it turn into a uh, Botan, because if we switch out, at least I know what its moveset's gonna be. No, it's got Sheer Cold. No, Sheer Cold. If he uses Sheer Cold, I just gotta switch into something that's higher level, and we'll be fine. And then we'll be fine. Let's go Aqua Jet. We'll just go about it this way, and then we'll switch out. See how much damage we get off. Quite a bit, actually. 
So in comes Botan, uh, the faux Botan. We'll bring out, uh, yeah, we'll just go Lucy. Because we know Sheer Cold's not going to take out Lucy. Water and Ice are not very effective at neutral, respectively. And it's going to be uh, pretty low. Yeah, see, there's the Sheer Cold. It just goes right for it, but it's not going to happen. Nice try. Let's get this Aqua Jet off and get on out, or Aqua Jet, our Sphere, and get on out of here. Bye, Ditto. See you later. All right, so where are we going next? We're we going right, we're we going down. What's up here? Anything? Nope. Any oh, there's an item over there. Max revive. That's utterly useless. <laughs> I still think, like, I still think I'm doing a normal playthrough, and then I see something like that. I was like, oh, that's a rare item. And then I'm like, oh, wait, never mind. What use is that going to have at all? Any items down here? Am I gonna get? Am I gonna get sniped again? I'm gonna get sniped again. I knew it. I should. I wanted that item. There's got to be an item in one of these piles, right? All right. Let's check in time. We're still doing pretty good. In comes a Shinx. Little Shinxy boy. We're gonna get Botan out of here. We're not about to take a a gosh dang spark to the face. That wouldn't be fun. Even though it's a tiny little Shinx, still gonna hurt. So we'll go. I would say we go Lila. Lila with a couple headbutts. Headbutting Lila is totally a thing today. It is doing the work. Get that Intimidate off. That's perfect. Just to make Shinx that much more useless. We're gonna eat that up all day. And here comes a headbutt. How about a one shot? We're gonna get paralyzed, I bet. That's probably got like static or whatever that ability is. No, no, we're good. Okay, perfect. And we're not gonna stay in on a sock. We're gonna we're gonna do exactly not that. We have a couple of psychic types that would love to deal with that right now. And we haven't gotten to use Stella a whole bunch today, so perfect. One extra sensory should do the trick, I would think. Not gonna outspeed. We're gonna take a brick break. We are thick! We are thick! And you are not you are thick skulled, that's for sure. Oh come on! Come on with your sturdy. No more of that. No more of that. So all you got is fighting moves. All you got. And now you're dead. Bye. All right, so this guy's done. Let's get some items. There's gotta be at least one item in those files, right? Oh, we're not done here yet. Okay, never mind. I got ahead of myself. In comes the Doduo. Let's go. Mm, I'll just bring in Lila. Let's get that cranium back out here. We're gonna have to get Lila some aspirin after this. Some, some something to something to alleviate the headache that she is sure to have. So all kinds of Pokemon are just taking this taking this headbutt. What does what does that do? Oh, that's right. That like raises a random stat or something like that. Of course, it had to be defense. It just had to be defense. Double hit. Isn't that like a dragon move or something like that? I have no idea. Thankfully, it wasn't a fighting move. <laughs> All right, now we're finally through this trainer. Let's find an item down here. You don't have like a twin down here, do you? Quick powder. What in the world does quick powder do? That actually, I've never even heard of quick, pu quick powder. Let's find out. What are items? Held by Ditto. Fine. What? That is like the most useless item of all time. Why would you want to make your ditto faster? I, I don't know. Whatever. A razor claw. Let's go find a... No, actually, let's not go find a, a Sneasel. Because um, we don't have any spots open for a Weavile. It would make a horrible bishop. Another item. Another pair of choice specs. I think I have one of those already, actually. But useless nonetheless, anyway. We're gonna need to get out another repel. I almost forgot. That would have been annoying. Where are you at? Perfect. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, anything up here? Am I gonna get sniped again? No. A spooky plate. I've got all kinds of Arceus accessories. Okay, nothing in there. Let's go around this direction. Item here, no. <gasps> okay, steel gem. I just ran right into that thing too. 
I was like, what did I find? And another, a chill drive that's got another Arceus plate. I'm collecting all the plates in this walkthrough today. This walkthrough, this playthrough, whatever you want to call it. Item here? No? Okay. That, yep, there's gonna be that, okay. That looked like a complete setup. I knew that, I, knew, I at least knew that one was coming. I like to pretend like I think I know what's going on. Every once in a while I'm right. Not very often, but sometimes. Here comes the gloom, we've already faced one of these. Now we're gonna take out its, its brother, no big deal. Maybe we'll stay on a boat, no, it's got grass moves, let's not do that. We'll go back out into Stella. And uh, should one shot it. I think it survived last time. What if we hit it with a with a Psy shock instead? That should be a one shot, right? No, 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 no! With his sleep stuff. Come on, come on, man. Let's get out the Chesto Berry. I guess that's what they're there for. Don't pro play me and do it again. Mega Drain's fine. We should outspeed you. You look about as slow as Stella, and Stella's evolved, so it should outspeed you. I would hope. Psy shock it up. Should go down. I would guess his defense is probably lower than a special defense, right? Absolutely! Nailed it. <laughs> We're learning as we go, people. Learning as we go. Grover wants to learn retaliate. It's a fighting move. No, it's not a fighting move. User gets revenge for a fainted ally. If an ally... Oh, it's 70 base power. Forget it! Can't learn it. Never mind. But that's alright. We will teach you something later on. You'll be fine. But, it's kind of nice Cobalion starting to get up there in level, that's nice. What we got? A metal coat! Okay! Okay, okay. Hopefully we're getting towards the end of Twisted Mountain. I mean, we've been traversing for a little while now. There's a doctor, that's actually pretty great. Because uh, we could use the heals right now. But I tell you what, we'll probably face off against this doctor, get healed up, and then we'll probably end it right there. Uh, but what do we got here? Two Pokemon? We got a Soul Rot coming in. I would think, I would think Botan could take this thing. Well, its defenses are probably going to be pretty high, so maybe not, maybe not. Can we Sheer Cold it? I kind of want a Dark Void Sheer Cold, just for the lols. Here's the Dark Void. So at least thing, this thing will be already asleep by the time that I just completely shiver this thing until, uh, until it's frozen to death. How about a one shot? Okay, fine, full heal. So you'll be alive when I do it! That's fine! Or you'll be awake, I should say. We're just gonna keep missing them. We're just gonna miss all five on a 30% move. Botan, you gotta hit one. You owe me one. While this thing just sets up all over me. <laughs> now it's gonna be very hard to take out. Just hit one. Thank you. Thank you! Bye, Soul Rock. No setup for you today. Sorry, my friend. Get a Krabby. All right. All right. Bring out Stella one more time. She's doing a good job today. Take out this Krabby. And we'll end it. Gotta be getting close. I would think we gotta be getting close to Icarus City. We'll do extra sensory. That should do way more than a side shock would. Krabby looks pretty defensive to me. There it is. Perfect. All right, Stella, you've definitely hurt, earned this heal from this doctor, so enjoy. And then after that, like I said, I think we'll call it here. We'll get stationed up. Uh, we'll, we'll find uh, where should we where should we position ourselves? Let's uh, let's go. Actually, is there anything down here before I advance? Oh, it's just another door. Okay, so we'll just stop right here. That's perfect. Anyways, guys, thanks again for jumping into another episode. Um, looks like we're pretty close to the end of Twisted Mountain, I would think, anyways. Uh, but the next episode, which will be on Monday. We'll make our way to Icarus City. I don't think we're gonna get to the gym battle. I would I would assume, usually once you get to this later stage of most of these Pokemon games, there's always something to do before you actually get to the gym itself. Uh, but we'll get to Icar Icarus City, at least. I would think we'd do that much. Hopefully get an encounter there if there's any water. Uh, maybe there's an encounter after Icarus City that we can get before we go to the gym. But anyways, all that's gonna happen on the next episode, which will be on Monday at 5 p.m. Central. And if you guys are enjoying yourselves, please hit the like button down below, as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell, so that way you know when the next episode goes live, which, like I said, will be on Monday at 5 p.m. Central. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for jumping in to another episode, and we'll see you on Monday.